Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Sagittarius. Why did they do this? Uh, for December 2022, for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So these are the Sagittarians that are searching for closure. So we're going to take a look and see um, what your person did to you and why they did it. So um, even though this is love focused, this could be with anyone. So apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. All right, so Sagittarius, let's get started here. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with or was dealing with. What did this person do to Sagittarius? What does this person do to Sagittarius? What does this person do to Sagittarius for December 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. What does this person do to Sagittarius? Oh, we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Emperor. Seems like this person kept you as an option here. Two of Wands. It seems like this person had two options. It seemed like this person was going back and forth. It was really being unclear with you. You know, even if this person had other options, it would have been great just to have this person be really open and honest here with you. You know, but I feel like this person... <sighs> I feel like this person might have been very selectively honest, but not really clear, okay? We have the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. And then the Magician here, Gemini, Virgo, and the Fool. You know, I feel like this person had option, uh, two options here with you and somebody else where, you know, I feel like this person was trying to figure out who they could manifest here with, who they could manifest the commitment here with, okay? You know, I just seem like this person came off as someone here who is, you know, very wise, very mature or something like that. You know, uh, you know, this person had good morals, but uh, it was kind of like a little murky here. Yeah, with the moon and the sun here, it seems like the secret came out. Maybe you were unaware that there was another option here. But I feel like you could have found out on your own or that this person slipped up and it just kind of like, you know, kind of, you know, it kind of just came out on its own. The moon, Cancer, Pisces, the sun, Leo energy, the two of wands here. We have the lovers, the Hierophant. We have the six of wands here. I do feel like there was another option here, okay? And I do feel like the situation created a lot of conflict. I mean, you could have been very jealous or that there was a lot of jealousy here. You know, I, one of the things I, I feel like this person was kind of like taking their time, kind of figuring out like who they could have victory and success here with. Tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? And we have the high priestess, Cancer, Pisces. Tell me about this uh, fool card and the seven of wands. I do feel like this individual was very, very, very secretive. I do feel like this person also was very guarded, had, the, had their walls up, you know, it could have been a situation that, you know, this person just, anytime you brought it up, you know, where you guys are going, what's next, I, I just feel like this person just deflected, yeah, and I feel like this person joked around a lot too, all right, um, why did this person do this to Sagittarius, why did this person do this to Sagittarius for December 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. What did this person do this to Sagittarius? All right, we have the Hermit in the Five of Cups. I just feel like this person maybe 
was afraid of being alone. You know, I do feel like this person has deep regrets here for distancing themselves from you, from disengaging, from not working together or like collaborating together and, and you know, talking about things here. Uh, perhaps this person does have a hard time talking about things, per perhaps because this person didn't want any conflict. So it's better that it was just not said, but I just feel like there was the energy, there's an energy that, yeah, it kind of like, it just kind of surfaced up on its own, came up on its own here. Um, Eight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles here. Now, I feel like someone here had fears that you would find out their secret. I mean, this Queen of Pentacles could be you here, and I feel like you found out. And yeah, I just feel like over time, I just feel like the situation came became very toxic here. For some reason, I don't know why I'm getting this, but I feel like this is like a long, drawn-out thing. Yeah. The Devil, Capricorn, Energy, the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about the Four of Swords here. Tell me about the Four of Swords here. We have the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Wow. You know, this is really interesting because I feel like your person chose someone and I feel like this person didn't choose you, okay? But I feel like if this person was still hanging out with you, still going on dates with you, but I feel like this person was lying. Yeah, this person was lying here, Sagittarius. Three of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands here. This is so interesting. I feel like, you know, your person was definitely, you know, running around. Sleep, sleeping around with you, dating you, and sleeping around with somebody else. Dating somebody else here. The uh, Eight of Swords here and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles here and the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So we have a masculine here. Basically, it has two options between uh, uh, two queens. And I feel like not only were they leading you on, they were leading a third party on too. And I feel like eventually, yeah, this came to the surface and then, you know, perhaps you just, you just eventually left this. You know, I feel like this could have been the situation, you know, they were telling you and somebody else that, yeah, they want to be with you, but at the same time, they were pretending like they were single. Yeah, so I just feel like you just let this go, went off on your own, and perhaps, you know, uh, better, uh, better luck looking for new love elsewhere than dealing with this. So uh, Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.